I'm Kristen from Stuff Mom Never Told You, and let's get something straight about cats right from the beginning. Not all cats purr. In fact, there are two kinds of cats, the ones that purr and the ones that roar. For instance, none of the Pantherneae subfamily of cats can purr, and this includes lions, leopards, jaguars, and tigers, but boy, can they roar. Now, the cats that can purr include our domestic common cats as well as big cats that can't roar, like bobcats, cheetahs, lynxes, pumas, and wild cats. And these are the ones we care about, right? Because it feels like they're sharing their contentment with us when they're happy and we're just plain fascinated with cats because, I mean, you know, the internet. But how do these non-roaring cats actually do the whole purring thing anyway? Well, the most accepted idea is that a cat's brain signals its laryngeal muscles in its voice box so that they vibrate. These muscles then act like a valve by opening and closing the glottis, which is the space between vocal cords, and that allows air to flow past the cat's voice box. Now, one reason we're pretty sure this is how purring works is that cats with laryngeal paralysis can't purr. So what makes purring so distinctive is that it works when cats are both inhaling and exhaling. And this is why it seems that they can just keep purring forever. And while we have a pretty good idea of how purring works in the throat, scientists don't 100% agree on how cats initiate purring. Some believe that it's a voluntary act initiated by their nervous system. So this would mean that cats only purr when they want to, which sounds very much like cats. But other studies suggest that the purr signal comes from a neural oscillator in the cat's brain. And then still another theory is that purring is caused by the release of endorphins when cats experience either pleasure or pain. That's right, cats don't always purr when they're happy. Sure, we mostly hear them do it when we're petting them or feeding them, and nursing kittens purr to let their mothers know they're well because they can't meow and drink milk at the same time. So purring is a way to bond with their mothers and say, hey cat mom, I'm A-OK. -okay. But purring communicates more than just happiness. Upset, injured, sick, or even dying cats are known to purr. And female cats sometimes purr when they're delivering kittens. Animal behaviorists think that these cats are purring under difficult circumstances because they're comforting themselves. Now, it's also possible that frightened cats purr to communicate peaceful intentions to signal that they are not going to attack. And so older cats do this sometimes when they approach younger cats to say, hey, younger cat, I'm totally friendly. Please don't scratch my face off. Now, there's another pretty awesome hypothesis about why cats purr. The rapid opening and closing of their vocal cords creates a sound between 25 and 150 hertz. And these sound frequencies can both improve bone density and act as a natural healing mechanism. There's evidence, in fact, that shows that purring can repair bones, relieve pain, and heal wounds. And this goes all the way back to an old veterinary legend that if you place a disembodied cat in a room with all of its body parts, they can reassemble their bones together. Yeah, like Franken cats. So wait, if other cats can only roar and not purr, does that also mean that they don't have these crazy healing powers? What do you think? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to Break Stuff.